I'm at Honeycut of Kublai Khan and this is Rise Up TV. How you doing today, bro? I'm doing all right, man. It was raining, now it's like burning hot outside. So. Uh, yeah, man. Welcome to North Carolina, man. Yeah. You know, I've only been here a handful of times. I'm not used to it. I'm from Texas, yeah. so I'm used to crazy weather changes, uh -huh. but I didn't expect this. I thought it was going to be pouring all day, and that was beautiful outside. So. Oh, yeah. We, we get a little crazy. You know, it acts like kind of sauna here. Yeah. But you from oh. Texas, though. Yeah, so I was about to say, dude, down yeah. up in there, man. I come from Corpus Christi. The, the place is literally Ooh. boiling. Yeah, it's baking all, all the time. So, actually, this is a little bit of a reprieve for me. Oh, the, yeah. The it's a vacation, good, dude. Right? You know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. So, yo, man, tell us about this music you got going on right now. Well, I mean, we're pretty much... There was only like a couple of like just heavy, heavy bands on the tour that were just like specifically supposed to be heavy. Right. And uh, I mean, that's pretty much us. We're just playing heavy shit, trying to, you know, pump out the ass whoop jams. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I feel that, dude. So. That's how you get the crowd hype. Yeah. Now, you've been on Warp Tour how many times? Have you been? This is the first time. The first time? Oh, yeah, yeah dude. How you liking the um, crowd so far? It's good, man. Festival? There's been a, a really good response, especially because, like I said, I mean, we're we're a real underground band. Uh huh. So, I mean, most of these people that are watching us every day would have never listened to us unless we were literally right in front of their face. Right. So, it's turning out pretty good for us. We're getting really good crowds, and we're absorbing a lot of people. Because, I mean, we played the same circuits forever uh -huh. with the exact same people coming out to every single show. Mm -hmm. And so doing stuff like this hopefully can maybe bump us up to, you know, Getting a whole nother demographic of people listening yeah. to our shit that would have never heard it before. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. So, like, you guys like to bring the pain. What can <laughs> people see? Like, when, what do they expect when they see you? I mean, like, give them a description of, like, Kubakon. Mm -hmm. We put it to you. I would hope that they just get the energy of it. It's literally just about to transfer energy, man. Like, we try and give everything we got. Right. Like we, we're a super, I guess analog is the right word. I don't know. Like we don't have tracks or anything. Like, yeah. we do just have our amps up there, drums, all that shit. And we just play our music all the way through. Almost like a, like a fucking punk band or something would do it. Yeah. But, I mean, we come from Texas, so I grew up listening to, like, Pantera and all that uh -huh. shit. So. It's heavily integrated into our music, so you can definitely yeah. tell. You know what I'm saying? That's what but it's I'm like talking. I said, the main thing would just be I hope people would watch our set and just be like, that was just energetic. You know what I'm saying? Or that had a lot going on. You know I got you. I got you. Now, here's an interesting question. A lot of bands come up with some really neat stuff. Now, as much as the heavy music that you play, what do you listen to on your downtime? <laughs> oh, Let's see. Well, I drove this morning because we were doing this in the van. Oh, so wow. I do all my own like driving shifts like everybody else does. Yeah. We only got four or five guys. We got a fifth guy. Was this is not even the point. We got we just drive our shit. I got you. But when I drive, I listen to stuff. And I mean, I listened to Pantera this morning, which is like I said, terrible example because that is what we're trying to be kind of thing. I understand. Almost, you know but I mean, we listen to like. Uh, the Midnight. Have you ever heard of The Midnight? I have heard the name, but I have not had a chance to it's listen just to like the music. It's like new wave, like 80s shit, but okay. not from the 80s. It's like current. Yeah. I just listen to that stuff. I listen to anything like Incubus, like just stuff that I can chill out to. Because like, yeah. bro, being at these shows, you hear 800 fucking breakdowns every day. Uh-huh. How, you know, when you get back in your car, you don't want to hear that shit. You want to come down. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, right. listen to just a lot of stuff. I got this whole playlist of just like lo-fi, just like beats and like stuff like that. Just to chill. Because like, I can't handle it. You know, especially after 10 years of, uh -huh. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I know exactly what you're talking about now. If you could... Would you like to sit down in front of a computer for half and like make some music, say, on the beat side? Like, maybe if it was like an alternative thing, you know, like, you know, yeah. you throw some of these beats right here. I got this coming smooth. If I had a computer, I would do that shit. What? I think it's on. I keep burping. I just had a monster or something. You good, man? You good? Yeah, dude, I'd do that shit. Like, I would have to figure it out. But, like, I mean, you well, you download Fruity Loops and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Just to get stuff. started. Yeah, you like that kind of, do you like that kind of genre of music with the beats yeah, and the hip-hop? Like, anything yeah, anything that you can just vibe to. Oh, you know yeah, dude. Saying? Especially ride music. Oh, that's that's my whole thing. Is that's, yeah. that's when we were talking about driving, too. It's uh -huh. like, honestly, driving, especially on a tour like this, that's the only downtime and alone time that we get to ourselves. Right, so right. So it's like everybody else is passed out. I'll just uh -huh. be driving, listening to whatever I want, you know what I mean? And it's all about just putting yourself in the right mind state, man. Because like yeah. with, a, with a tour like this, 
that's such a difficult grind and so strenuous and shit like that, if you're not giving yourself kind of like that mental and emotional just like chill zone, uh-huh. you're going to screw yourself up. You yeah, no doubt, man. No doubt. Because the momentum of this is like with day like 18 or 19 of a 20-day stretch, dude. Yeah. I feel like if I slow down or if I stop for five minutes, I'm just going to collapse. So it's right. like you just got to keep moving. You know I what I mean? You. I'll sleep when we're back home and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I got you, man. You looking forward to heading back to the crib? Hell yeah, dude. Man, I mean, I that's like... the thing is I love this tour. I like doing this shit. But, like, I miss my girl. I miss my puppy. I miss, you know, going to the beach every day and doing oh, all that man, shit. yeah. I live, like, a pretty leisurely life when I'm back home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, like I said, while I'm doing this, just live it up. Because it's the last one. And, yeah. I mean... I never know what's going to happen tomorrow or any shit like that. So it's I, feel like, you, I try and live in the moment. You yeah. Know I mean? Rather than focusing too much on the past or worrying too much about what's going to happen in my future. But right. I am looking forward to going home. So if that answers a question. Yeah, dude. That's pretty awesome. And now you're looking forward to playing. You're going to try to play Vans, you think, when it becomes more stationary? Yeah. Like they the, let the, us, the, uh, the, the, the association itself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because mm-hmm. I know that this is the this is the final like cross country. Right, thing. right. But bro, I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure it's already part like common knowledge. I think they're gonna be like probably like a Texas one or California one yeah. or something like that. Yeah, some type of big ass festival because there's still gonna be a market for it. Exactly. You know? Just because this is the last one where they <laughs> spend two months and traveling around the whole country doesn't mean that they can't still do some shit. You know, in the summertime, that's a little bit simpler and easier on everybody. To be honest with you. you know True. What I mean? But yeah, sure. I mean it's the kind of thing if we we got our foot in the door doing this, we ever get the invite to come party back, we'll do it. You know what I mean? I feel you, man. Now what's the biggest show you guys have played to your remembrance? Uh there's this uh festival in Canada called uh-huh. Heavy Montreal. And like the offspring played and Metallica played and a bunch of shit. Oh wow. And we there was like four or five stages. Uh-huh. We opened up the, the forest stage or whatever at like noon. It was already like 7,000 people or some shit, like dumb amount of people. Wow. And that's one of those things is they took a video of it. There's a, a dude that took like a really, I guess, like HD video of it on YouTube, uh-huh. you know, when we played that show. And there's yeah. so many people that to this day come up and be like, yeah, man, I like found you guys from YouTube on that heavy Montreal shit. And like, that's how I know about your man. I was like, thank God we played that, dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, we were done before lunch even started, but it was still sick. You know yeah. I mean? Oh, that's awesome, man. Shoot. Now... If you could go anywhere in the world, money is no object, and you could rock, take the band and rock it, and you, who would you want to play in front of, or what would you want to play? Fuck, dude. Thing is, I'd probably go to Australia just because we do well in Australia. That's where we have, like, some of our best shows. Yeah. But it sucks because, like, Tokyo is probably my favorite place in the world to go. Okay. But then also Barcelona, Spain. So we played Barcelona twice. Right. And the shows were just like, you know what I mean? Yeah. The the day being in Barcelona is the best thing in the whole world. Right. So I'd have to weigh, like, would I want a badass show or would I want to go somewhere where when the show's done, I'm going to have a good time? Right. Right. That's one of those things. As long as you're with your friends and you're in good company, you can go anywhere and you have a good time. Dude, that's what I'm talking about. Band of Brothers. That's what I'm saying, my man. Well, a lot of the bands I've talked to today wanted to shout out some of the organizations they're associated with or anything is there anything Cooper Con you yourself are associated yeah, yeah. with I was actually talking to one of the guys yesterday I mean you guys know about Finn it's the full energy no drugs and stuff like oh, okay. that yeah. that's one of the things that's on it's kind of like dare and stuff mm-hmm. like that mm-hmm. I mean I'm drug free I don't do mm-hmm. anything you know what I mean and I'm not one of those people that sits there and like judges or crucifies people for doing shit but right. I mean I think that there needs to be education on it, especially for younger people because I've had friends that OD'd on shit just being stupid you know and stuff right. like that and they're trying to really raise awareness to uh, it's, it's a specific terms of opioids and stuff like mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. to get kids kind of t- to know a little bit more because a lot of people think oh well, it's, it's from a doctor so it's, I can do whatever I want with it so right. you, know, well, like, you know my mom was addicted to opioids all that shit so it really hits home right. so I guess like you know uh, that organization they're called FIND like I said just stands okay. for uh, Full Energy No Drugs okay so that's word man we're gonna definitely make sure we put a link down to it make sure everybody can catch a hold of that and definitely follow and support, man. Yeah, hey. Well, thank you so much for your appreciate time, it, my man. brother. I appreciate thanks. it. Is there anything else you want to say to the Rise fan before we bounce? Yeah, man. Just thanks for having us. You know, yeah. I appreciate it. Hopefully, you know, people check it out. They check out Finn. Check out any of these fucking bands that you guys interview. You know what I'm saying? And a yeah. lot of respect and love to y'all. So, appreciate right. it. You definitely. I mean? Thank you so much, yeah. man. I'm rising up to meet the dawn again. This darkness is, I'm lifting my hands to